Hey there, friends. So I thought I'd just like jump in front of you while I'm hanging around today to talk to you a little bit about Egypt because I know I've gotten messages even from my own dad saying, you know, can't wait for you to come home. And people are wondering, like, what is Egypt like? And is it a place that's okay to be because there is a war zone nearby? Well, let's be honest, the war zone, not so nearby as it turns out. And also Egypt is kind of business as, as usual, with the exception that there's just not a lot of people here. Tourism is down 70%, which means that everywhere we go, we have monuments with very few crowds. Uh, the Nile cruise that we are on was less than half full. So it's kind of nice actually. Uh, is it safe to be around here? It's no different than it ever has been. Is Egypt safe? I, don't, I certainly wouldn't say yes or no, but if you say to me, is Italy safe? could be. <laughs> Things change all the time. So my uh, thought for you today is if you're concerned about a place, check travel advisories, but also check common sense because, you know, I think we hear about things in the Middle East and we assume the Middle East is one thing, but it's not. It's a lot of different things with a lot of space between them. But I, what I wanted to do, actually, before I thought to say that, I wanted to show you our hotel. <laughs> Hoda and I worked really hard to make this tour sing to make it beautiful to make sure that you guys would well the people with us would love all the hotels because egypt can be kind of tough it's you know hot and it's noisy and it can be a little bit difficult so what i thought that um i would do is just show you our hotel room and uh the current view because this is why i thought to say hello to all of you the current view is killing me it's so beautiful so here is our hotel the sonesta saint george which is in Luxor. Luxor is, is ancient Thebes. So this was the capital of the new kingdom of uh, ancient Egypt. And it's the home to all the most wonderful sites. And I'll show you in a second over there. So beautiful bed linens. It's a little decorated for maybe my taste, but you know, very Egyptian. I've got snacks laid out for happy hour, so I'm going to do happy hour with my group in just a little bit. Uh, it's Ramadan, so we had Hoda find somebody who could get us liquor so that we could have a little happy hour with gin and tonics. A hotel left me a little snack here, which is nice, but come out and see the view. There's my little chair and my snack, but have a look. The sun is starting to set over the Nile and people are out in their felucas, which are these traditional sailing ships. People here, uh, it, they're celebrating Ramadan. So um, that is making it a little tricky for our guide Hoda because she can't eat during the day. So once the sun sets over there, everybody but everybody's gonna be heading to have a snack. So, but look how beautiful this is. And I just wanted to point out to you, so first of all, here's our, beautiful pool. This is an absolutely gorgeous hotel. But look over here in this gorgeous scene. You can see this mountain here. That is the Valley of the Kings. So the way the story goes is that um, the pyramids were built more than 5,000 years ago. And uh, that was to the... Sorry, bad connection. Um, but the New Kingdom Pharaohs decided to move down to the middle of um, Egypt and uh, have more control over the southern border. So that's why they started Thebes, which is Luxor. Uh, that is, those are pretty much all the Egyptian fairs you know. And they didn't want to build a new pyramid, so they chose a mountain that looks like a pyramid. So inside of that pyramid are all... So that's why it's over there. And we actually did a hot air balloon ride over here. Uh, so it's a really cool area we're going to go check out tomorrow. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little taste of the sunset here on the river nile and let you know i'm having a great time my group is having a great time we have a lot of room at the sites because a lot of people have canceled their plans but there are still people here uh, there's still tourism and everything feels pretty much normal to me i haven't seen anything strange uh, we've been enjoying everything the other thing that people who are coming right now are getting is a deal on hotels uh, because hotels are usually quite expensive. We actually could not afford this hotel in our original plan, but because of the, the problems, uh, we were able to get a really good deal. So if you're thinking about coming to Egypt, this is a great time to think about it, honestly, because you're gonna get a really good deal. And the Egyptian tourism industry would love to see it. <laughs>
So anyway, I'm in Egypt. I'm fine. I'm having a great time. Hoda is wonderful as always. We absolutely love her and we'd love to see you in Egypt too someday. And some of you I know are watching that have been to Egypt with me and you can tell everybody how much fun it is because it's like no other place in the world. So good evening from the Nile from Luxor. Time for happy hour.